Hi guys, uh, just thought I wanted to give you a little rundown on my, my equipment here that I'm charging. We know I'm out on my kayak trip in particular. I'm carrying a drone which has got four batteries. It lasts me, well, I'm very cautious, so I'm never going below 30%. Uh, percent. Actually, I'm usually no longer than 40% and I'm pulling the drone in again because there's a lot of drifting, a lot of problems could happen. Uh, so 40, four batteries won't last me all that long. And for me to make sure that I have enough juice to power them up whenever I need it, I need more than just power banks. I know for a day or two it would be perfectly sufficient, especially with the power banks I'm bringing. But I'm also planning on longer trips, six, seven, eight days of, of uh, kayaking in uh, national parks where there is no electricity, where there is no, actually no phone connection, nothing at all. And in addition to that, I've got a gimbal, I've got uh, two GoPros, I've got a telephone, which also has to be recharged. And uh, it all needs juice, it all needs batteries. And for that, I've then uh, invested in a uh, 35 uh, watt uh, solar panel that I mounted on my uh, kayak and uh, connected it directly to a small box that I have uh, bought in Tesco Lotus. Just a small box, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it was, it was not much, two, three dollars, four dollars maybe. And, uh, in the box, I'll just see if I turn around. You can see I have uh, I have just uh, glued it in here with some uh, silicone to make sure it's watertight. And uh, when you closed it up, it is indeed watertight. And uh, down here, well, I can actually show you. It seems it works. Yeah. See the blue dots there? They are moving. That indicates that my solar panel, despite despite the fact that we are uh, both overcast and I'm under a bit of a shade um, uh, under the trees here then the solar panel still managed to charge my battery the one I have in there is a uh, 20 amp hour battery and uh, it has got a uh, 12 and 19 volt output which is the reason why I bought it because that means I can charge my GoPro battery straight up oh, I might just as well show you that I've got this a uh, uh, charger for the GoPro batteries. Uh, I bought a uh, power bank with a 36 uh, amp hour battery. It's a huge one. It's a good one, Mayox or something like that. And uh, I bought it because it was uh, designed to charge uh, laptops, MacBooks for, the, uh, for that matter. And I've got a MacBook, so I thought it was perfect on the longer trips. I can do work on my way as well. But it turned out it was intelligent way of uh, charging, meaning that it read whatever the device needed and then provided it. So despite the fact it got 12 volt output, it just couldn't handle a, um, a uh, spike drone charger here. So I was put in a, in a predicament there because I bought uh, for a lot of money. And eventually I realized that maybe if I bought a regular uh, power bank with a 12 volt output, which is one I choose for it, so it doesn't have intelligently to figure it out, maybe that would work. And it did actually as a charm. I can tell you the other power bank by the USB directly to the spark can charge it, but it would take two and a half hours to charge one battery from 30% and up to 100. So that's a significant amount of time. Plus you are stuck, you can't use the drone meanwhile. This one, uh, my uh, 20 amp hour battery, it charges via this little modification here that I would just plug into the battery. It charges three batteries from 30% each up to 100% within less than two hours. I think one hour and 45 minutes. So that is way, way, way faster. But the advantage is also, I can have it in the box here. And uh, when I've done flying with the battery and it's empty, I just plug it into the box, plug it into the charger, leave it there while I'm working with the drone in other matters. And eventually when I'm done with that one, this one will be charged. Uh, so it's, it's a much more viable solution if you use a drone a lot. And um, well, it's not that I use it a lot, but uh, if I'm out on a six or seven day trip, uh, I definitely prefer that I don't have to charge it directly on the drone with a two and a half hour charging time. So uh, yeah, um, as you can see, it's, it is still managing to charge despite the fact that we are not having a sunny weather. Uh, so it's pretty efficient. I was, I was really in a predicament as far as, as the voltage goes. Um, I don't know anything about it. And I asked a guy who was professionally selling it for houses and stuff like that. And he just basically said that the more volt you have, the, uh, the more watt you have, sorry, the more watt you have, 
the 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 more juice it delivers. So that's basically just a matter of how much how fast you want it to charge. As long as it provides at least 12 volt, then it will be able to charge the batteries. And this one is actually an 18 volt, as far as I understand. So I chose this um, particular uh, solar panel based on its size, basically. Uh, I could have taken a 50 or an 80 volt, uh, watt battery, uh, power, uh, solar panel, sorry. Uh, but it would just be too big for the kayak. So um, this was the solution. And it turns out to be quite good. I'm charging a 36 amp hour battery 25% in a semi-overcast day. So being on the lake in high sun, I suspect that I, in a day's time, can, can really charge it up. Uh, the numbers says in, in full-blown sun, this one should be able to charge a 36 amp hour battery in five hours. Uh, if I plug it in with the charger, it takes me eight hours. This is a, the word of a technician. I don't know much about it. I just know that I'm satisfied and I'm pleased. The big power bank is also a, um, a, a power through, which basically means that I can charge the battery at the same time I'm recharging my equipment which I really, really like. The small one, the 20 amp hour, is not. Um, but it's okay, it's dedicated only to handle my, um, to handle my uh, drone. So that is uh, right now charging on the fly, and I'll be heading out again. Cheers.